I still want to be right on the end of the mill. I want to be able to cut through. We're going to have a problem getting this down, though. Today we're going to be getting some major time in on the sawmill. We've, we've only used this thing a couple times. We cut the little beams that it's sitting on and we made a planter box and part of a fence, but that's it. And we're working on the lean to over on the Connex. And first things first, we're just topping this thing off with water. We've got fuel in it. We've got a really big log on here. This is probably the second biggest one we have sitting around here. And we're going to work on two by eights and we need 32 two by eights that are 12 feet long. And that's the main thing we need. So that's where we're starting. We might have to get some more trees. But I don't know. We're new to the sawmill. I'm not sure how many we're going to get out of each log, and we're going to we're going to kind of learn how to use this thing today. So we're going to get started cutting this lumber. Well, I'm trying my best to make use of the whole entire log. So we're trying to get this down to eight inches because we want to cut two by eights. And then I'm to get there, I'm cutting one inch sections so we can use the one bys for the project. Also, those are going to kind of be, uh, they're going to go underneath the metal roofing. And another thing we did to the sawmill is we hooked up our auto lube kit. Uh, it turns out when I ordered this from Norwood, they shipped me the wrong cable. They shipped me a throttle cable instead of the auto lube cable. So I called them, they uh, shipped me the new cable and we got the auto lube kit going, which is awesome because I don't have to turn the water on and off. So I'm gonna make one more cut in this one. It's about nine and a half inches. Like I said, I want to get down to eight inches and then we gotta flip it up on its side, you know, get this live edge cut off, get that flat. We'll flip it one more time and then we'll hopefully be able to start cutting two by eights. It's looking like four to six two by eights. We'll get out of this big log. There's a couple spots in this log that were a little rotten. So I'm hoping the rest of this log is, is usable because it's a big one. Look at that. I probably could have made one more one out of this, but. Making some small adjustments here to the a little measurement guide that comes with the sawmill. Just make sure, oh, it's a little bit off. Just trying to make sure it's perfect. This is kind of, this is your main measurement guide. This is how you'll just you'll be able to look at this and it'll give you exact um, cuts. So I'm gonna get this thing perfect for us. Well, that's, that's gonna be an eight by 10 beam. So that means we're gonna get five two by eights. 
which I think is pretty good. And it takes a while to get all this wood cut, I'm not gonna lie. But we're getting this thing perfect, so I measured exactly at 10 inches on the log where the blade was gonna cut, and then I measured exactly, or I got this lined up exactly at the 10 inch mark. So I'm gonna get that tightened up, and we'll get that uh, little live edge piece sliced off the top, and then from there on forward on this piece, we're just gonna cut every two inches, and we'll have our lumber. Well, this is, this is overkill. These are some huge beams. Uh, we were debating whether to do like a true two by six or a true two by eight. And we're like, you know what? Let's just build this thing once and have it super heavy duty. And that's how it's turning out. Um, these things are massive. They're super heavy. We're kind of building this thing really similar to our woodshed, but on our woodshed, we didn't have the sawmill and we went cheap. We did two by fours on the roof. And if I could go back, I would at least do two by sixes because we have to remove snow um, off of this or else I guarantee this thing would, would not hold the snow and it would, it would cave in. Um, I just go up there in the winter and you know, maybe two or three times in the winter and I shovel the snow off. So it's not too big of a deal, but the shelter over there, um, we don't wanna have to remove snow off of it. And the pitch isn't gonna be steep enough to shed the snow on its own. So we want something that was really heavy and it was gonna be able to hold the snow. And I think that these two by eights are more than going to do the trick and we're going to drive the players over there we're going to kind of start stacking these two by eights we got five of them here we need 32 we're going to start stacking them kind of where they go and then the little scrap pieces we're going to stack those where they go and then we're going to grab another log and we're going to keep cutting
Well, everything was going great until it wasn't. Um, at some point, I'm guessing from throwing these heavy logs on here, we've probably done like six of our biggest logs, our track has become unlevel. And this beam right here, we're trying to, you know, get something out of it. And I've spent probably the last hour, hour and a half, Errol and I trying to get this track level or back to level. And it's just not working. And it's getting pretty late. We're getting kind of frustrated, at least I am. And I think what we're gonna do is tomorrow, we're gonna pull this log off and we're gonna kind of have to start from scratch um, on leveling this track and see what happens. Cause if it's not level, the, the cuts are just, they're becoming super off. The front of the log will be a certain thickness. And by the time I get to the end, it's like an inch off. So it's not working. So I'm gonna come back out in the morning. Got stung this morning by two bees, unfortunately. Uh, we are out here fixing, Eric fixed our sawmill. It's totally straight now, awesome. Yesterday went really smooth until we got to this log behind us and just went downhill fast. I wanna say it was like three hours, three plus hours of troubleshooting, but it's straight. And instead of doing two by eights, we got a nice six by six beam. It's absolutely beautiful. Today on our agenda, we're gonna get our rest, the rest of our two by eights cut and the rest of our beams cut. We need 12, but I think we're gonna be shy of a few trees. So we'll have to go get some more from the back forest to make sure we have enough for this project. Ow, my hand hurts. Remember, <laughs> this one was a real heavy tree. Right here. I mean, it's- You're gonna have fun. It's goodness. like almost crazy how exact Straight. it is. You wanna Thanks see? You. Thanks to you. You're gonna do this as a four by six? Uh, six by six, right? Six by six. broke the sawmill. This little piece caught me in the wrist. So luckily that's all it was. What this does is uh, it's got like this little tensioner and this holds the saw head uh, kind of like, it'll hold it steady where you're making your cut. And when we first ran the sawmill, I noticed on one of my first cuts that my the saw head when I was going through the cut was slowly drifting down. So this wasn't tight enough. So I tightened it up and it's been pretty stiff. I had it too tight, I know I did. And I was coming back and this little little piece on the end busted off and the saw head kind of went down. So I got a new little piece on there and I think it's going to work. So hopefully we can keep cutting. Back in business, she's working good, so we're gonna we're gonna keep cutting. Cool. It's amazing.
amazes me how solid and strong these are. Have you felt them? They're... I don't even know if I could lift one by myself. I don't know if I'm getting tired or these things are getting heavier, but they're... They, some logs are particularly are heavy. They're very tired. You're a monster on that machine, bub. You don't even like wear out. Oh. You can get more than I thought you were going to. Yeah, I agree. Firewood this year. I don't know what the date is. When is it August something? Uh, the 20th, the 17th or the 18th? Mm -hmm. We're not in the 20s right now? No. Oh <laughs> I thought you were going to get me with that one. You should be able to get there with some kind of wood, right? That's what I was thinking. I'm thinking we may be really close with wood. But Behind it. Oh my gosh, look, it's the peak of the devil. Well, after a nice breakfast, we're ready to get started again. Things are going pretty good. Uh, we've gotten quite a bit of lumber. Some of those bigger logs, we're getting tons of lumber out of them. We have 26 or 27 of our two by eights. We're gonna have to go get more logs for those. They require really big logs to get those two by eights. The six by six beams, these things are just gorgeous. We love these ones. We're gonna need four more of them. And then the four by sixes, those ones look good too. We're gonna need two more of those. We're gonna get started with all the logs we have here and then we're gonna have to go to the backwoods and we'll have to get a couple more trees down. This should do it. Uh, we need two more logs. We need one big enough to cut two by eights out of, which is gonna be the bottom section of this tree. And then we needed one just to make a four by six out of, which doesn't need to be too big. And this is 30 feet right here. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut it 30 feet and hopefully drag it back to the property in, in one piece. And we'll take care of it over by the sawmill. But this is it, this is the last one.
huge and it didn't have to put mushroom on it, so I knew it was going to be a problem. Well, we're tired, but we were all done cutting wood for this project on the mill, and this is what we ended up with. We have a huge pile of, uh, we just call them one bys. They're one inch thick. These are gonna be used on the roof. We got more down here. This whole pile is just short scrap pieces, probably gonna be firewood. We have another huge pile back here, and that's all longer, thicker pieces. We're either gonna cut that into firewood, or we're gonna kind of lay it in the bog and make our little road out to the other side so we can get more wood. And then over here, we've got all of our beams and two by eights. We have 12 beams all together, uh, six by sixes and four by sixes. And then we have our two by eights, which are just awesome. Really cool looking wood. And I think we got like 35 of those and we only needed 32. So we've got some extra of those. My swollen hand and I made it through the day. It was hard work, but we got it done. In fact, it was a really good experience, I think, just working with the sawmill. We've mm -hmm. used it a few times, but this was like real hardcore use. Yep. And there was each day, it feels like- Something went wrong. <laughs> something went wrong, which made it take a lot longer. Yeah, we're new to using the mill and we've learned just a ton. And it took us three days of just straight cutting the wood, dealing with the problems, and that's not even including the days it took us to haul the logs over here from the back of our property. So it was hard work. I'm not going to lie. Absolutely. Eric did a great job getting all of that wood cut. You're a sawyer now. <laughs> and we've got to, we've got to get into action because I feel like falls among us and we've got to get this thing built. It is. It's getting cold and we're kind of at a push to build this thing. And it takes a lot longer milling the lumber yourself, but it is a lot cheaper. I already priced all this stuff out at the local, Home Depot and it was gonna be over two thousand dollars for all this lumber so it just cost us our backs but it's beautiful it's gonna be beautiful so. it's gonna be awesome but we got to like Errol said we have a ton more work to do on this thing and that's what we're doing next episode we're gonna be back out here working on this yep we'll see you over on the Connex next episode <laughs> <laughs>